And again, just one final point, although I want to keep on adding uh, Yisro. This is not the last that we hear from Yisro. This is not the last that we're going to speak about him. We're going to have more and more as time goes on throughout the year. Um, for now, the question is now, why is it says in the same the same passage, like Yisro, um, it, well, it's the passage 1812, that he, the father of Moshe took the old offering, peace offering, like a barbecue, and when it's a shal, shal, shlal, shlamim offering, which is what it was, it's like a barbecue, it's for the person who makes it, and he invites all his friends, and everybody comes to eat it with him, and he makes shalom by people. When people have a barbecue, it inherently breeds shalom and peace. Uh, and one of the orphans was an Ola, which gets completely burnt to Hashem. Anyway, but who's got, who's eating it? Aaron and the elders. So the question is, is where's Moshe? So one, one answer they give as far as where's Moshe? Moshe, because Moshe is obviously there. He goes out to greet. He goes out to greet Yisro. So Moshe, one answer that they give is that that um, Moshe was standing and he was the waiter. That he wasn't an eater, but he felt he held Yisro in such high esteem. He was the waiter and he was serving him. The next, another answer that I heard that was very interesting, the the very next pasuk, which is uh, eighteen thirteen, Vayimim Machras on the very next day, Moshe went out to judge the people. So and they discussed. They said that that very next day happens to be Yom Kippur, the day after Yom Kippur. So if it's the very next day, that means the previous day was Yom Kippur. The day of Yom Kippur is a fast day. We're not allowed eating. However, this was before the Torah was given. So it's possible that Moshe, who knew the Torah and kept, you know, it's possible he heard it from Hashem. He knew it was Yom Kippur, so he didn't want to eat. That's why he's not there. The other people didn't know any better. They didn't know that it was Yom Kippur. They didn't know it's fast day. So they, that's why they're the eaters. Um, I just thought that was a very interesting uh, take on the situation.